This is Brad from Argali, and I'm gonna show you how to set up and pitch the Abzaroka 4P tent. And there are two different ways you can pitch this tent. You can pitch it in no draft mode, which is close to the ground to keep out any of those drafts. It's helpful when it's sort of cold out later in the year. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to pitch it in elevated mode using our built-in line lock adjusters if you wanna create greater airflow um, for the warmer months or to help with condensation management. So let's get to it. All right, so first I'm gonna show you how to pitch the tent in no draft mode. Now this is what you wanna do, the way you wanna pitch it if uh, you don't want any drafts coming in underneath your tent. So if it's like a cold, windy night, this is how you wanna pitch your tent. Um, so the way you wanna pitch it in no draft mode is to take your stake, and our stakes are designed to fit through the webbing loops on the end of each of the guy out points. So you wanna just ignore that line lock adjuster when you're pitching your tent in no draft mode. And you're gonna run that stake right through that webbing loop and you're just going to push that in the ground. Now remember with the Abzaroka when you're pitching it you're going to pitch the four corners of the tent first and you're trying to essentially get a nice even or as even as you can get a rectangle uh, to pitch the tent here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this other stake through the other corner. Before I push that in the ground I'm going to basically take one hand on the corner I'm gonna pull it snug and I'm gonna let that tent fabric relax. You don't want this to be tight when you're running it in no draft mode and I'll explain why here in a bit. But by keeping it just a little loose, this is gonna allow you uh, to make sure that all of the guy out points are gonna have contact with the ground or be really close to the ground. Okay, now I am just eyeballing and trying to get roughly 90 degree corners um, on the first four guy out points. It's, it's really not a science, it's an art, and you can adjust if you need to, but it really makes it fairly simple and easy to do. So I'm gonna get the stake through the webbing, pull this tight, let it relax, put this down. Okay, now my last corner. <coughs> this is a good time to evaluate whether or not you have a roughly uh, square tent. So I'm just gonna pull this kind of snug and I'm gonna look to see like is this a 90 degree angle? Do all the corners look roughly 90 degrees? In this case it actually looks pretty good. Um, if I needed to make any small adjustments like now would be a good time to do it. Um, but you can always kind of mess around with it later if you want to get that perfect pitch. So I'm gonna pull this corner kind of tight and I'm just gonna let it relax and I'm gonna put that, that stake down. Now you can look right now and see that these, these sides are not real tight. You can see how they're not really snug. And that's what you want, right? So the front side right here, you can tell it's, it's snug but not tight, okay? And that's really important. So after you get the four corners set up, you're gonna pop open the zipper. Doesn't matter what door you do, you can do a door on either side. And this is really where when you're running it, when you're running it in no draft mode, you really want the uh, center pole to not be super tight, okay? So what you don't want to do is come in here and, make, and have your tent corners be like as tight as they can be. Um, you want it a little bit relaxed. And what that really is going to allow you to do is make sure all the other guy out points kind of come down all the way to the ground so it can help keep out that wind. So if you pitch it too tight, and then you, you put your center pull up and it's too, too tight. And then you go around and you try and pitch your other guy out points and you find that you can't pitch them close to the ground. Um, what that really means is your center pull is a little too high. And all you have to do is just come in and lower it an inch or two and then go out and re-guy out your, your center pull, or excuse me, your guy out points. So you can see in this situation, I've got this thing, it's a little looser than I want. So I'm just gonna move it up one one notch, that's one inch, but I can still move around my pole. I think that's about right. Now I'm gonna close that zipper. And now I'm gonna guy out the rest of my guy out points on the tent. Pull that out. You know, I don't wanna, and you don't wanna pull it out super tight because you wanna make sure, kinda get all the guy out points nice and snug. If you do it too far, if you pull it too far to one side, It'll make it difficult to get that pitch nice and 
even all the way around. It's nice and snug. Pull this side out. I can already tell I'm going to make a small adjustment on that corner here in a minute. Get this side out. Okay, one last side. Pull that snug. Okay, so now the tent is fully pitched. If I was gonna be anal, which I am, you can see this one side here is just a little more relaxed than the other sides. So what I would do in this situation, I would pull this centerpiece out, I'd pull this guy out, point out here, just kind of snug up this corner, put it right back in, and now I'm good to go. And there you go. Why don't you come take a look inside, see what it looks like once you get it pitched. So now you can see all along the bottom here, you've got a nice pitch. So the hem of that tent is coming into contact with the grass out here. So this is a really good way to keep the draft out. Come on side. I'll show you what it looks like on the inside here. Oh. I'm laying down on some really nice wet grass right now, which feels amazing. But you can see on the inside here when you have it in floorless mode here that uh, it looks it's pretty spacious on the inside. And this is our Absaroka 4P tent. Um, next, I'm going to show you how to pitch it in elevated mode. Okay, so now you've seen how the Absaroka 4P can pitch in no draft mode. Now I want to show you how you can pitch it in an elevated pitch if you want greater airflow uh, inside your tent. So this is particularly helpful um, and advantageous during the warmer months if you want to keep your tent a little cooler or uh, if you just want a little bit greater airflow to help with condensation management. So the way you pitch it is going to be exactly the same um, whether you're pitching it in no draft mode versus elevated mode. The only difference is that you're going to use these line lock adjusters. And I'm going to show you how to do that and why it's just really easy, slick way, to, slick way to do this. The real advantage of these line lock adjusters right here, having them sewn in to, the, to all the guy out points on the tent, is not only can you pitch in elevated mode, but if you're in uneven terrain, it's going to allow you to, to adjust the tension on any one guy out point to really get your, a nice even pitch or a pretty even pitch uh, no matter what the, the terrain looks like. So if it's not completely flat, um, which it pretty much never is when you're out hunting, um, it's just gonna be a little bit easier to get that nice pitch on your tent, and it's gonna be easy to let off tension or create more tension on any given point. So let me show you how it works. Um, you've got this webbing, excuse me, this paracord coming through the line lock adjuster with a little loop right there. And what you're gonna do is just take your stake, put it through that little loop, and you're just gonna push it in the ground, okay? And just like, we already got this one in here. Just let me pull this out. Um, just like when you're running it in no draft mode, what you're trying to do here is get your tent, uh, your, your corners square. So you're gonna pitch the four corners first, try and get them roughly square in a rectangle, and then you're gonna pitch the rest of the guy out points along the outside edge. So I'm just gonna pull this fabric snug, but it's not tight, okay? You don't wanna pull it super tight like that. You wanna let it relax. Just make it snug, and then I'm gonna adjust this paracord so it's roughly the same length as the other one. I'm just gonna push that stake in. Put my other corner here, try and square up the corner a bit. Push that in. Okay, now the last corner is where you're gonna kinda of look and evaluate whether or not you've gotten that roughly square pitch that you want here. Now I can tell right now that this is pretty good but not great in terms of a square pitch um, or getting my, my uh, side square. So I'm just gonna leave this one a little relaxed right here. It's pretty square and then I'm gonna go adjust that one here in just a second. So I'm gonna put this through, stake through the paracord, slide it in. The nice thing about these line lock adjusters is in order to just adjust this a little bit, I'm just gonna pull this down a little bit. I don't have to reset my stake. So now I've got a pretty square tent. I'm gonna pop open the zipper. 
on the door, grab my pole, and again, unlike the no draft mode, when you're pitching in elevated mode, you want your center pole to be just a little higher and a little more taut than it was in no draft mode. So again, this is an art, not a science, but it's, it's not, you don't want it so it's as tight as it can possibly go, but I want it pretty snug. So I can tell right now, I could go higher, but I kind of like, I'm looking at the bottoms here and I kind of like the way it looks right now. So I'm just gonna leave that just the way it is. And you can see with the four corners pitch and the center pole in, you can kind of see that all the other sides look kind of relaxed and loose and that's totally fine because we're gonna make those really nice and snug once we get these, all the rest of the guile points in and once we get these line lock adjusters snugged up. So now I'm gonna pull this side here and notice that I'm not pulling it real hard because when I do that, it's gonna create, it's gonna pull the whole tent over a little bit and I don't wanna do that. So I'm just gonna pull it kind of snug and remember we're gonna adjust this, adjust the line lock adjusters as we go around. And I'm gonna get this side in. Okay, this side, you've got four corners plus, you've got eight stakes total, four corners, and then four guy out points for the remaining sides. Okay, last one on the door here. And that pitch is looking pretty good, but I can already tell there's one side that's a little slack from the other. So I can tell that that corner right there looks a little lower than this corner. The great thing about these line lock adjusters is to fix that. What I'm gonna do is come put tension on this side right here by just pulling on this tag end of that line lock adjuster. Okay, so I just pulled that and you can see that corner just came out really nice right there. And I'm gonna walk around and kind of see if there's any tension or any place that looks a little slack. On the others, I'm just gonna snug these line lock adjusters out. And honestly, that's about, that's all I'm gonna do. And now, this is how this tent looks in floorless mode. You can just see it's really easy to use those line lock adjusters to get that tension just where you want it. I'll let you see what it looks like in, on the inside. Now again, this is being run in floorless mode right now. So you can see, this is our four person tent, so I'm almost 6'2 here. And you can see what I look like inside the, the tent here. So it's spacious for four people, or excuse me, for a few people. You can fit four people in here. Um, and that's how you run the Absaroka 4P in floorless mode using the line lock adjusters in elevated mode. And next, I'm gonna show you how to connect the insert to the tent.